Den 121 Dental Hygiene Preclinic Lab. Lab test Midmark Autoclave. Integrator Chemical Strip and Biomonitor. Proper PP to be worn, gown, glasses, treatment gloves, and nitrile gloves. Prepare unit and biomonitors. On the clean side, prepare an integrator strip for this load and a chemical strip for each cloth bag of critical instruments. Each must be labeled with autoclave number, date, and your initials. Color change area of the integrator strip must be inserted toward the bottom of the small bag for viewing. Do not fold the integrator strip. Chemical strips are to be placed inside the cassettes that go into cloth bags. So first I am going to prepare the integrator strip and this is what your integrator strip looks like. It has a little window. It has a little blue portion here that says steam safe. And so what we want is for, there is a, a blue line that will start here and when the load has been processed properly, the blue line will continue. We need the blue line to be in this safe zone. So you want to make sure when you put that into the bag that you put that in so that you can see readily see that when you open the autoclave and look inside the unit. You want to make sure you have the autoclave number, and in this case we're using autoclave 1, so that will be A1, the date, and I am putting my initials. I'm going to take a bag. You want to make sure that when you insert the integrator that the steam safe goes in first. Also, when you fold over, you want to make sure that you just fold over just to close up the top. You don't want to fold it all the way down. On the outside of the bag, I, again, I'm going to put the autoclave number, the date, and my initials. The chemical strip will be placed in each cassette of critical cloth bagged instruments. It looks different from the integrator. This is the integrator. This is the chemical strip. This will go into each load that is processed here in this clinic. This will go into each cassette. If you'll notice, I've put the autoclave number, which is A1, the date, and my initials. Prepare biomonitors with incubator slot number, initials, date, and autoclave number on ampule. So these are our biomonitors. These have, these have live bacteria in them. So we are testing to see that our autoclave can kill the viruses and bacteria. We do these on Tuesday of every week, and they will be run in one load of each autoclave on Tuesday. So I am going to prepare the bowel monitor with the autoclave number. In this case, it's A1, the date, my initials, and an incubator slot number. This is an incubator. This is our, this is what I call our cooker. So I am going to put, to label the one that goes into the autoclave, incubator two. 
I am also going to prepare a control which will say C, date, initials, and I am going to put it in slot number one. Place the ampule that is to go into the autoclave in a bag with date, initials, and autoclave number on the bag. I am going to place the biomonitor in a bag. The reason we are placing the biomonitor in a bag for this particular load is that the biomonitor needs to face the same challenge that the instruments face. So in this case, we're running bagged instruments, so we're going to run a bagged biomonitor. Date, autoclave number, and my initials. With treatment gloved hands, open door of the autoclave unit. Always want to make sure that you hand sanitize or hand wash before going into your treatment gloves. I'm going to go over to Autoclave 1. I'm going to open the door completely. Check water level. It should be up to the green level at least halfway up. So this is our water level, our water tube. If you'll notice, there's a red level and a green level. If the water level gets down to red, there is not enough water in the autoclave to run a cycle properly. So you want to make sure that the water level is in the green zone about halfway up. So this actually looks pretty good. So we really don't need to add any water today. Please make sure the ring from the water jug is removed before pouring when water is needed. So if you need water, you want to make sure that when you take the lid off, there's a little ring. It looks like this right here. There's a little ring you want to pull off and discard. We have had students in the past that accidentally poured the water here and poured the ring into the unit. So you want to make sure that you are not that student. Prepare bags and loads. Retrieve chemical strip from the clean side and drop on the dirty side, making sure not to contaminate clean treatment gloves. So I'm going to retrieve my bagged biomonitor to put in the load, my bagged integrator to put in the load, and my chemical strip to put in the cassettes. With nitrile gloves on, place the chemical strip in the cloth bags. So since I am handling instruments, you want to make sure you're always in your nitrile utility gloves. So this is a cassette. It has processed through the ultrasonic and it has been dried. So in each cassette of critical instruments, that drops on the floor, just pick that up and put that back in since your gloves are dirty, the floor is dirty, and we're about to autoclave these. You want to make sure that you place the chemical strip in each instrument cassette. You want to lock it up. We're going to place this in a bag. And in order to close the bag, you're going to tuck 
the flap. And secure with a piece of autoclave tape. With a marker from the dirty side, write autoclave number, date, and your initials on the autoclave tape. So if you'll notice the autoclave tape has brown hatch marks on it. This is also a uh, monitor for steam. So I'm going to take my marker from the dirty side. I'm going to write A1 because that's the autoclave we're going to be using. The date and my initials. Place prepared integrator strip and biological monitor into the center of the load. Make sure the tray is not overloaded. Do not touch outside of mid-mark autoclave with contaminated gloves. Insert tray into autoclave. There are some other instruments here that have been prepared earlier. So I will load the tray. Pouches may overlap slightly, but instrument cassettes must be single height loaded, no stacking, to permit proper steam flow and penetration. So if you'll notice, we're stacking our cassettes and our paper bags on their sides so that steam can process through appropriately. I'm going to place the biomonitor that's in our bag in the middle of the load. I am also placing our integrator into the middle of the load. Now I'm going to take the basket over to the autoclave. So there are little, there's a little lip, so you'll just put the basket in. I'm going to remove our nitrile gloves. We don't want to touch the outside of the autoclave with dirty nitrile gloves. I can just place them on the sink right there. My treatment gloves inside here are clean. I'm going to pull up on the latch, push it down. Select proper cycle using the pouches setting. 270 degrees for five minutes. So I'm going to select the pouches, 270, 5 minutes. Press start pad. Start right here. A beep will sound. Autoclave display will then run through the following cycles. Fill, heating, sterilizing, vent, and door ready to open. At this point, you may remove instruments. So once the autoclave has completed its cycle, you want to make sure it goes all the way through the dry cycle. Um, then you are able to open the door and remove instruments. When door opens, you may remove tray with oven mitts to clean side in the sterilization room if the autoclave is needed immediately. So if you have time, let the instruments dry in the autoclave until display shows dry cycle complete. So these are our oven mitts, just like you would use at home. So when you take them out, take them out, you're going to put them on the clean side.
check to be sure integrator strip dark bar is in the blue safe zone before putting instruments away in cabinet. Record integrator strip in the sterilization monitoring book. If the integrator dark bar has failed to reach the safe zone, alert an instructor immediately. So we would take the biomonitor and the integrator strip and what we are going to make sure is that the integrator strip, and I have one that was processed earlier, we want to make sure that the integrator strip, before we put the instruments away, that the blue line has progressed all the way to the steam safe area. That's how we know that these instruments have been processed properly. Place integrator strip into the sterilization monitoring book. So this is our sterilization monitoring book. It has a place for the biomonitors and for the integrators. So we will be taping the integrator. We will circle the autoclave, autoclave one, autoclave two, magnaclave, or statum. We will be placing the strip and we will be writing whether or not it has changed. We will be writing the date that we took it out and our initials. Crush biomonitor and control ampules. Put in incubator. So the biomonitor was heated up into in the autoclave. We're going to take the biomonitor from autoclave one and to crush it on the right side corner. You place it and push it, and you'll hear a little snap. So I said that that was going to go into slot number two, and then our control, we're going to crush it and place it back into slot number one. Record biomonitors start time and slot numbers in monitoring book. So I'm going to, as soon as the biomonitors go into the incubator, I'm going to record the time that they go in. So we did a control and we did autoclave one for this competency. So I'm going to write the date, the time, my initials, the slot number, and I put the control in slot number one, and then autoclave one, the date, the time, initials, I put um, that biomonitor in slot number two. If biomonitors are incubated for the allotted time and sterilization student is not present, when at least 10 hours have passed. The student must read them the next day and record time out of incubator, initial and positive or negative results. So I'm going to show you a biomonitor from the last clinic that we had. So they were, the autoclave 1, autoclave 2, and statum, plus a control. 
was prepared, run through each autoclave. They were crushed and placed into the incubator. The slot number was listed. Ten hours later, or the next morning, if we're not here, uh, at the end of the 10-hour cycle, it is the sterilization uh, student's duty to come in the next morning and read the biomonitors. So what we are going to read is, or put down in their book is the date, the time we take the biomonitors out of the incubator, and then what we found. If for any reason the student is not attending school the next day due to a schedule change or something of that nature, it is her responsibility to inform Miss Adams or one of the other full-time faculty of this so that they can check the bio monitor the next morning. Unplug incubator. Dispose of vials. So the vial that was the control will still be yellow for positive because it did not go through the autoclave. So we still have live bacteria growing here. So it will need to be placed into the basket going into the autoclave. So I'm going to drop it over here on the dirty side and the sterilization person will put that into the basket um, of instruments to go through the autoclave to kill the bacteria. Once this comes out of the autoclave, it can be disposed of in the trash. The vial that was used, um, that was put through the autoclave, the bacteria, it's purple, that means it's negative for growth. So all the bacteria has been killed, so that can go into the trash. 